Right well, guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a trifle, an old English trifle with Bundaberg Royal Liqueur Banana and Toffee. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie farming in the Philippines. In the Philippines! Well, I'm gonna make up a trifle. I made this for the girls the other day and they absolutely loved it last week. I'll make up another one. So I made up some custard here, which you can see, nice and firm, custard, and jelly, mango, and a pineapple jelly. I'll have a little bit of different. Got some whipped cream as well. Today we're using banana cake. Look at that, I'll call it banana bread here, banana cake. And um, you must have a glass bowl. Why glass? Because you must have a glass bowl so you can see the pretty colors and layers. Now, with the bread, with the cake, you can use Anything you want, use a sponge cake, use chocolate cake, you can use a Swiss roll, you can use any bloody thing you want. But because we're in the Philippines, we get hold of these things, so it's banana, and that just makes it absolutely beautiful. Some people make jelly, and they put tin fruit in there. Well, that's okay, but if you look on the pack, it says don't put tinned um, pineapple and something else. It won't set, so it must be something in there. But um, some people do that as well. And of course, the hidden ingredient, when I looked on the internet the other day, I said to Chip, do you know, none of these put alcohol in their trifles. And I looked at all these trifles from these well-known cooks, and there's no bloody alcohol. But this is what I use today, guys. Some Bundaberg, look at this, Royal Liqueur. Now you get this in different flavours, but today we're using banana and toffee liqueur at 20%. Look at that. And I tell you, that's probably why the girls like it so much. And this is a very easy, very easy... Kids can make this recipe without the alcohol, of course, not FMD, FMD. So the idea is to put a layer of cake down, some jelly, some custard, wrap it on the top with some freshly whipped cream. Sometimes I've made it where I'll put all this in and I'll make up a, a loose custard... That's not hot, of course. And I'll pour that in so it fills up all the gaps in between. That's another nice thing to do as well. But um, anyway, whatever you want to do it. You can either spoon it in, you can cut it into pieces, do whatever you friggin' want. Whipped cream on top, followed by some shaved chocolate. Now, what do I use for shaved chocolate? Well, there's only one thing to use in the Aussie farm in the Philippines. Flake. Cadbury's Flake. Perfect for on top of the trifle. Right, I'm gonna cut all this up now and I'll be back at you guys. Okay, so everything's all cut up nicely. So, I said the jelly, it's a nice little cubes. Why not, look at that. Hey, look at that baby, who's your daddy now, bitch? Look at that, mm-mm. Mm-mm, Custard, look at that, okay. Just drop it down wherever you want. But before we do that, we've got to put the Bundaberg, the Bundaberg Royal Liqueur from Bundaberg, Queensland, Australia. Banana and toffee. How good is that, guys? How good is that? Oh, right. So what I like to do is get the spoon. Don't remember, remember the old saying, less is best? Well, I thoroughly believe it is. And I like to use a spoon so I can get it all on the top of each piece, soaking down through it. Look, look at that, okay? So put it on nice, nicely, just like that. Absolutely gorgeous. Like that French one where you put all those the, in the coffee liqueurs. It's absolutely gorgeous. Tiramisu, so I love making that. Seriously, okay. And remember, if there's any left over, you can have it yourself. That's not an issue. It's not an issue at all. Look at that. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Right, so then all it is a matter of doing is putting in your layers into it. It doesn't have to be in order. Some people put it all in a layer of this so it looks all sexy and dexy and all that. So, ugh, come on. You know, really, really, just drop it in. Right. Right. 
Now, let's put some of this, put some of this jelly in here. Look at that. I see some people put tin fruit in there, guys. To me, ugh. boring. Tin fruit and jelly is for babies. Trifles with alcohol is for adults. Indeed. Look at that. Look at that. Put a little of this down. Now we get some yellow stuff here. Look at this. This will be lucky some leftover for the kids later. Back to the custard again. The banana cake on the top here. And see, some people they layer it all in, you know, the perfect layer. It's like, oh my god, you know, life's too short, guys, please. I mean, you stick the spoon in, it's all gonna go everywhere anyway. So, what's the GO? You know, what is the GO with all that? And you can see why sometimes. I said I'll put the loose custard all the way in through here when it's cold, just pour it in and it'll fill up all the little crevices, all, all the little crevices inside. Okay, that's it, don't go overboard. Don't go overboard, will you? What's next? Last little splash. Just a little splash only, that's it. Don't go overboard with it. Next. Our whipped cream, freshly whipped cream. You know, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <coughs> Spread it round. Spread the loving, guys. Spread the loving. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I have to keep it below the lid, that way we can put some plastic wrap on top and it's not going to be sticking to it as much. So look at that perfect amount. Oh, can I lick the bowl? No! Flush it like everyone else! Alright. Mm. Put a little wiggy on it. Mm, yummy. Okay. Now, the piece of the sis dance. Da 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 da. One chocolate flake. One chocolate flake. Good. Okay, look at that. See? Just like that. And there you have my mother's English version of trifle. She would use sweet sherry and things like that. Any type of liqueur actually goes down quite well inside of this. Chunky bits. There we go. Look at that. Look at that, guys. So, this is my English Australian trifle. Have a look at that. It's all got to have it in a glass bowl. You've got to have that effect. Okay, and like I said, if you pour the custard inside of it as well, then it will mingle through all that. So, it's up to you how you want it done, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and remember, alcohol goes good with everything. And only one thing you need with alcohol, more alcohol. So I hope you've enjoyed this today. This is my version of Old English Trifle with Banana and Toffee Bundaberg Royal Liqueur. Thanks for watching, guys.